It's actually really simple and you will get results. You can eat more food and be much more healthy if you pay attention to this rule. Good morning, Coach Devin here. I am up early. Sun is not up yet. I'm pretty sweaty as you can see. Just give me some cardio. See, no sun yet. <laughs> Listen, something I wanted to talk about with everybody. You are eating too little food. You're eating too little food. Listen up, you're eating too little food. And I understand everybody's like, oh, you have to be in a caloric negative. Yes, you do. If you want to lose weight, you have to be in a caloric negative. You have to expend more calories than you take in in a day. However, if you go too hard on that, okay, bad things happen. So I'm gonna tell you a story. I have a client, and yesterday we we're talking. She said, look, I'm, I'm kind of jammed up. I, I feel like I'm sliding in the wrong direction, et cetera. Like she's not happy with where things are going. She's done really, really well, but frustrated, right? Really frustrated. And I said, okay, walk me through. What do you weigh right now? She's like 160. She's pretty damn fat. She's there, pretty darn fat, 160 pounds. I said, how many calories are you eating in a day? She's like, 1,500. I'm like, all right, I know your problem right now. And she looked at me like I had two heads. She's like, what? And I'm like, look, here's the deal. And this is gonna be simple math. It works for everybody, guys. So pay attention for a second. We're gonna take her 160 pounds, eating 1,500 calories. You're going, oh, she's in a caloric negative of 100 already. Then she exercises, right? Cause she works out, you know, probably five to six days in a week. Now she's in a caloric negative even more. Everything's great. No, not really. And here's the reason for that. So she's eating 1500 calories and then she's probably burning five to 700 calories because she'll go for a walk, like she'll do, uh, go for a walk or, or do morning cardio and then she'll lift, right? So two workouts a day. So we're gonna say six, 700 calories she's, she's outputting in a day, roughly, give or take. You're looking now and she's at an 800, roughly, caloric negative. Here's what happens with that. Your body gets stressed. Your body gets stressed. It's not happy. It's cranky. Cranky doesn't do well. Cranky doesn't do fitness. You don't get more fit in a stressed environment. It just does not work. You have to be in a non-stressed environment in a number of ways to get fit and lose weight. You want to put stress on your body insofar as you are exercising. Yes, that, that's, a, that's a stress. But you also want to take care of your body too. So I can tell you right now what I would say to her right away is the most I want you in a caloric negative total is about 500 calories. That'd be the most, uh, somewhere between 350 and 500 every day is good. So what I want you to do is take your body weight in pounds and multiply it by 10. So for her, 160 multiplied by 10, that's 1600 calories. That's the base. Now, she's gonna exercise 800 calories a day. So to maintain her body weight at 800 of that, now we're at, you know, what, 2300 calories, okay? That's what she would need to maintain where she is. Now, you wanna lose weight? cut off 350 to 500. So even if we say we're going to be aggressive and we're going to cut 500 off that, she needs to eat 1800 calories a day. That's what it is. That's a simple math. If you eat less than that, bad things will happen to you. You will not get progression. People who are eating 1200 calories and exercising, unless you're like hundred pounds, bad things will happen to you. You're not going to go the way you want to go. It just does not work that way. So stop doing it. It's like I said, simple, simple math. Body weight in pounds. Multiply it by 10. That's your base number of calories you need in a day. If you burn 500 calories, add 500 to that. So we're gonna take me for simple math, right? I'm about 240. That's 2,400 calories. Add an extra 500 or so. We'll say 500. I probably burn more than that because I'm pretty active, but we'll say 500. Now I'm at 2,900. I wanna lose weight. So if I wanna maintain, I'm at 2,900 calories a day. Remember, 30 to 35% of that has to be protein and you're not going to get anywhere. And then from there, really simple, you just cut somewhere around 350 to 500 off that. So I need to be eating a minimum of probably 24, 2500 calories a day. That is a lot of food. Period. End of discussion. It's a lot of food. If you think 1800 calories is not a lot of healthy food, it's a ton. You're going to eat a lot. You need a lot of times and that's okay. That's good. We want to do that. But stop under eating. It, it will wreck your progress. It will wreck you getting anywhere. And if you don't get enough protein in there, track your calories and track your protein. If your protein isn't 30 to 35% of your total calories and your calories are not high enough, you're not going to get anywhere. If, if your calories are right but your protein isn't right, 
still, no thermogenesis, you're not going to get there. You have to be on top of these things, guys. It's, it's actually really simple and you will get results. You can eat more food and be much more healthy if you pay attention to this rule. That's all it is, simple and to the point. Trust me on this. I've done this for 29, almost 30 years. I promise you that's... That's how this shit works. If you have comments, questions, things you want me to talk about, write them up in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Have yourself a great day, everybody. Don't fight me, awesome.